morning, day two. It is, ah, uh, it's a little after five. It's probably going on 5.30 now. I was up at five. Um, slept really good last night. I did feel some cold on my feet because the air is was blowing this way. So I, I didn't put my underquilt protector on and I really should have because it would have stopped the wind from there because I could even feel it coming through my net. So um, now again, if I had my doors on my tarp, I could have shut the doors and, um, and stopped that wind blowing. So maybe maybe my tarp with doors is a better option for me. Anyway, I don't know. Um, I'm going to keep using this though. Um, I'm going to make some breakfast. Let's see what I've got here. Got some coffee, of course. It's cold this morning. 35 degrees when now, right now on the temperature when I when I looked last. That's chilly. And I tell you, the uh, weather reports, and I look at stuff a, you can look on all trails, it tells you the weather for the trail. And I also look on uh, a couple other apps that are supposed to be like telling you what the weather is for the trail. It's wrong because it was supposed to be like a 42, 43 degrees overnight. And uh, I was going to only bring my 40 degree quilts. And uh, I'm glad I didn't because it's 35 degrees. I probably would have either just, I, I probably would have been uncomfortable. I wouldn't have like been in like life threatening jeopardy or anything like that. But I have my 30 degree quilts and uh, working great, man. I am, I was warm all night, but never trust the weather reports. That's, that's my motto. Um, always make sure, you know, I always account for probably five to 10 degrees colder than what they say it's going to be. You know, I mean, is that right? Now in the summertime, eh, it's a little bit iffy. I can kind of get away with more, but anyway. Enough talking about that. Let's talk about what I'm gonna eat. A lot of crap in here. All right, so the main part of my breakfast today is uh, like this Pop-Tart thing from Legendary. 20 grams of protein, so I'm going to try that. Um, this one, what is this one? Brown sugar and cinnamon. So we're going to see how that tastes. I don't know. But the last thing I had was from Legendary, and it was a, what do you call it? A uh, cinnamon bun, and it was pretty good. Coffee's made. Let's try this out. Oh, I can't even open it. That's what happens when you have a sore thumb, man. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks like a pop tart. I'm sure it doesn't taste like one. It's very dense, but it's not bad. It tastes pretty good. I mean, it is like a protein bar kind of thing, so it's not going to taste just like a Pop-Tart, but we're good. I'll take them. I'll eat them. So today, I got um, 19 miles to go. Well, closer to 20-ish. Um, terrain is a little bit more steeper and stuff, but I'm not expecting it to be rocky. I don't have all those... 20 something creek crossings where my feet were soaking wet. I have dry socks on and my shoes surprisingly dried a little, like mostly dried overnight. So I should have dry feet the rest of the day except I gotta cross this creek here I, I camp next to. And my luck, I'm gonna fall in. I'm gonna try to get on trail by 6.30ish, maybe even seven, I don't know, because it'll be light, but I'm in no hurry right now. So I'm gonna take my time, drink my coffee. And man, it's cold. It is. Still 35 degrees, ma'am. Cold morning, but it is winter.
Oh, an update on my hamstring. Yesterday as I was hiking, and uh, you know, you kind of trip over sticks that kind of get caught between your legs kind of thing. That happened to me and I was trying to step and I pulled the muscle, I pulled the hamstring yesterday. Um, when I touch it, it's kind of sore, but when I'm walking around here, when I went to get the food bag and stuff, it felt pretty good. I mean, my legs in general are a little bit stiff today, um, which that'll be fine here in a minute once I get moving, but yeah, I'm feeling great today and I'm uh, looking forward to that 19 miles. All right, it's about seven o'clock. Um, I got on trail maybe 20 of, seven, uh, quarter of, something like that, which is pretty good. It's about 45 minutes um, earlier than yesterday. And since I have like two miles less today, I'm guessing because of the terrain, I'm gonna be back to the car around the same time, somewhere between five and six, I'm guessing, um, because it is a lot steeper hills today. A lot less just flat cruisy spots but um hiking into the sunrise right now it's looking beautiful they are calling for rain later today so hopefully i'll be at the car um, before that happens but this morning when i left camp it was 35 degrees it's only that was only about 20 minutes ago um and you have to hike for maybe 100 yards or so and you turn and you go up out of that draft and it's not really a I don't know, it's maybe like a tenth of a mile. I mean, it's short to get up out of here, but I'm at the top and uh, it's seven degrees warmer up here. So it's 40 something degrees, which, you know, that just goes to show that, uh, you know, camp selection is important because just maybe 300 yards difference right there, you know, seven degree difference between down there and the draft where all that cold air was by the water and then up top. So up here, I would have been totally fine with my set of 40 degree quilts down there I probably would have been feeling cold. Not dangerous, but um, it's definitely below, it would have definitely been below the temperature rating of my quilts. Um, I would have been uncomfortable, but, so that's why, uh, you know, I always try to go plan for, you know, five to 10 degrees colder than what the uh, weather is calling for because, you know, even, and like I said earlier, the apps I use, the weather, I, it's for on the trail but it can't take into account if you're down the draft or up top or wind chill or different things. So I always plan and that's always knock on wood has worked five to 10 degrees colder than what they're calling for. Works for, it just, it just works for me. I'd rather be, I'd rather carry a, you know, six to eight extra ounces to take between my 30 degree and 40 degrees and be warm and comfortable. You know, it's just, just something I'd rather do. All right, enough jibber jabber. Got a long day today, let's get it going. dead silence today quiet I don't hear any kind of mechanical devices no planes no cars nothing not even a breeze it's just peaceful quiet <laughs>
11 o'clock and uh, stopped here at a campsite to eat. It's, I'm about maybe seven miles in, seven and a half. Got about 13 miles left for the, for the trip. Um, get that out of the way here soon. I'm thinking I'm gonna be out by six. Um, we'll see. I'm not going as fast as I was yesterday because again, this morning it's been uphill almost the entire way. Some steep downhills too, which can't go fast. So, but for lunch, having my Quest cookie, some of the trail mix um, and peanut butter and my beef stick. So that'll be, that's lunch. And uh, I'm looking forward to that because I'm really starting to get hungry today. Still got to keep going up. Um, and then we'll see how far I can, or how fast I can get to the car. I'm not going to rush today. I may even have a cup of coffee because um, I think I need that boost, but time to eat. Man, that sun feels absolutely wonderful. It's nice and warm up here. Nice breeze blowing, some flat terrain. Beautiful day, blue sky, sun's out, just absolutely gorgeous. You can smell spring in the air. It's only a couple days away, but with this warmth, smelling these plants, smelling the leaves, everything, it really makes me really excited about the warm weather. But the only problem is the next couple weeks it's gonna be cold, for at least as far as I can tell. Man, I just did a climb one mile. Ah, oh, big long switchbacks. I mean, it was brutal, which, that's what this trail is, up and down, mile long uh, hills all the way up and down. So I'm gonna, now that I got up here, I'm gonna stop here and sit on this rock. I'm gonna take a break, eat a snack, and uh, just chug a bunch of water. It's almost 2.30 and uh, man, is that sun bright today? I think I'm getting sunburned, but it feels good. Um, it's about 2.30, I got about nine more miles to go. So I'm probably not gonna get back to the car till like 6.30 or seven o'clock. But anyway, I'm up here on top of this mountain. You walk on here and there's trails back to all kinds of different vistas, but um, really nice area to hike. And um, I got some signal on my phone and I just got a message from one of my subscribers. Um, her name is Nicole. Um, it's funny because I met her back on the Laurel Highland Trail. I don't know, first or second night at the at the um, shelter areas where everyone camps. Um, but anyway, um, she sent me a message today saying um, that she's going to be out here on the Black Forest Trail, and that's where I'm at. So um, I'm going to give her a shout out and uh, have fun. Keep your feet dry and uh, take your time up the hills. Have a good trip, Nicole. Coming up on about five miles left, I don't know, 5.3 or something like that. It's about quarter after four, it's getting late. Later than I expected. I'd be thinking I'd be rolling in about now, but the second half of this trail, and again, I went counterclockwise, which according to the official map and the guidebook, that's how they go from mile one, two, three, four, five, all the way around. Um, so, but I camped at around mile 22-ish, something like that. And I can tell you, this second half is way more difficult than the first half. I don't think I'm averaging... 
I think it's, it's pretty much less than two miles an hour. done 6 30 12 hours of hiking roughly so less than two miles an hour this second day really really kicked my butt yesterday was not bad except for i hurt my hamstring but other than that it was easy but um, i'm tired it really kicked my butt so um, right now i'm gonna go look for a burger somewhere um, <clears throat> and eat and i have a long drive home so with that i'm gonna end it and thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.